What's going on guys? Mitchell Phillips here. Welcome back. We're going to be go going over the 10 things you still don't know about Forza Horizon 4. First of all, let me just cover, if you guys didn't know, um, the stuff that most of you probably already know about is, of course, uh, we have 30 new wide body kits from RWB, Rocket Bunny, to Liberty Walk. We saw the R32 as well as the McLaren 650S. R32 having that nice Rocket Bunny, the McLaren 650S having that nice Liberty Walk kit. Very cool stuff indeed. We found that we have over 150 cars that will have wheel spacers. We have dudes in skirts dabbing and doing the floss now and a bunch of character customization. But now let's go to what you guys probably missed. Starting off with number one, that's Sunflower Meadows. You may have been so distracted by that beautiful R32 wide body that you completely missed uh, the fact that we they showed us your very first home, Sunflower Meadows. And let me know what you guys think in the comments because it kind of is a middle class home. I would have liked if our first home was literally like a, uh, a mobile home, like a very cheap, small one bedroom type home, something very small where Sunflower Meadows looks more like your parents' house or at least your single mom's house. Like, it's very kind of girly, it's all white, and there's a lot of vegetation around it, but it's not, you know, starting from ruin by any means. The second thing, number two, is the tree leaves are individually rendered, which is pretty nice, honestly. If you guys notice, take a second to actually take a look at the, the detail on the vegetation. Now, it's not just the trees, but it's all sorts of vegetation. And it just, it looks really nice, honestly. And I think that is going to add to the visual experience. We already know the visual experience is a step up. It's hard to tell from the live stream footage, but my goodness, the game looks really good. Number three is not only, I mean, we all knew that some lakes freeze over during the winter. Many lakes actually freeze over during the winter. But what a lot of you did not know is in the summer, some of these lakes completely dry up, creating rally stages uh, and other sorts of races incorporating those dry, those dry riverbeds. Actually, I shouldn't say lakes, it's rivers. The lakes probably would have a tough time drying up that quickly. So these riverbeds are going to create some really, really nice natural uh, rally stages that I think are going to be a ton of fun. I'm actually really excited to drive down these riverbeds in the summer. Number four, we have Car Heroes, Upgrade Heroes stories, as well as Car Mastery. Two sections in the menu that I noticed that I had not seen before. Um, I don't know exactly what these mean, but we can guess. Car Mastery, I'm going to assume, has to do with maybe collecting very rare cars. And Upgrade Heroes, my assumption would be, is going to have a list of cars that have, uh, you know, availability for spacers, availability for drag, uh, drag suspension, availability for drift suspension, stuff of that nature, so you're not buying a car hoping it has the upgrades you want and then, you know, not having access to it. That would be my best guess, but if you guys have any info on those menu options, let me know in the comments section below. The next up is the animals. The animals are also going to be included in online free roam if you didn't know. But if you didn't know what animals were confirmed so far, from what I've heard of, we have sheep, we got chicken, we have bunnies, and we also have deer. There's actually going to be 12 homes and three castles. Now, two of the homes have been named and they actually drove to two of the homes. We went over Sunflower Meadows, but what we didn't go over is the Gables. Gables or Gables, I'm not really sure. But uh, that is also going to be a home location probably that you unlock early on because they drove to it and it seems that they own that home already. Um, now, we didn't actually get to see the home, unfortunately. They literally drove to it uh, but they were facing away from the home and it was right at the end of the stream. The stream ended just before we got the animation to take a look at the Gables. 
but that is going to be another home name to look out for as well as they have also talked about we haven't seen it but Huntsman Lodge this is one of the developers favorite home in the game uh, so definitely keep an eye out for Huntsman's Lodge moving on to the castles that we've heard of one of the castles actually hosts the Horizon Festival I don't remember the name of it uh, actually we didn't get the name of it but it is castle ruins that are going to be, you know, surrounding the Horizon Festival, which is very cool. And then let me get into something really big that you guys want to know. This is just a bonus, but it's probably the most exciting thing that you missed. And that's that we have over three dedicated drag strips in the game. Well, three for sure, and I think over three. They made it seem like there was more. But we have a drag strip on the beach. So a drag strip in the sand. We have a drag strip in winter when one of the lakes freeze over. That is really exciting for sure. Um, I know a lot of people would run drag races on the lake at Blizzard Mountain. Now we're actually going to have a legitimate um, drag race on ice, which is pretty damn cool. Let me know what you guys think of these dedicated drag tracks in the comments below. I think that's awesome. I'm super excited for those. Now, moving on, I mean, we still have more to cover on the homes. We have two, I believe, two homes, but I'm not 100% when it comes to Bomberg Castle. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but Edinburgh, Edinburgh Castle and Bomberg Castle. Now, first of all, what is good to mention is homes are going to provide you with perks. Uh, one of which they discuss as being fast travel. So I'm assuming one of the homes early on will give you the ability to actually fast travel. Edinburgh Castle will give you access to a crown, as a lot of you probably already know. But what you didn't know is Bomberg Castle actually is going to be the host for a playground games event. So we're going to be able to play Infected, uh, Flag Rush, and King at an actual castle or on castle grounds. I think that's gonna be a really cool location. I'm interested to see if that's gonna be the go-to uh, location when it comes to playground games. Now, if you guys are enjoying this video and finding it informative, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because believe me, I will have more coming out for you guys. I was a little bit late to the party about this live stream, so I made sure to find out all the things you guys might have missed so I could bring you guys some value. Moving on to number eight, there's over 500 items spread out across 10 categories with four levels of rarity uh, when it comes to character items. So you're going, you're not gonna get all the items off the bat. You have to unlock these items. And uh, like I said, you are going to have um, levels of rarity. So there's stuff that's gonna be more difficult or less difficult to unlock. Which brings us on to number eight, and that is the implementation of a brand new wheel spin system. So we have our regular wheel spin still, they're coming back. But now there's going to be another type of wheel spin called, uh, this is gonna be called Super Wheel Spin. Literally, it's called Super Wheel Spin, very creative. But anyways, all it is is literally three wheel spins simultaneously. So you're gonna, instead of having one reel, you're gonna have three wheels spinning at the same time triple the rewards and i'm hoping that wheel spins are maybe will be a little bit easier to get your hands on then again if they're not that's okay too because a little bit more grind is always better as well um, but wheel spins are also going to include character customization emotes as well as chat messages so those are going to take up some of the spaces that you could have had you know for Horizon Edition cars, which are actually Forza Edition cars now, um, or just money cars and stuff like that, which is what most of us probably want out of our wheel spins. So it might be more difficult to get rich off of wheel spins now, is basically what I'm getting at. That was finally number 10. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Drop a like if you would like. And uh, I hope to see you guys on live stream because we actually live stream Horizon 3 every day, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And believe me, I will be pre-ordering the Ultimate Edition of Horizon 4. So you guys are going to get a lot of great content on that game as well. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on live stream or in the next video.